one of the reasons we should be concerned about climate change that is caused by humans is that we've grown accustomed to the recent climate. We know we, our, our bridges are built a certain way, our agriculture is built a certain way, uh, our roads are constructed based on the recent past climate fluctuations, including extreme events. If those change, however they change, that's going to be a stress. And stress is difficult, it's, it's expensive, and it typically does cause hardships. One of the ways that scientists try to get a handle on attribution of extreme events, deciding whether these are outside the statistical likelihood and a sign of climate change, is to look at probabilities. So even though any given extreme weather event cannot be attributed to global warming, uh, if, we, if we look at an aggregate change, or say 10, 20, 30 year period, and look at the probability, the likelihood that there would be a certain number of extreme events within that time period based on the past, then we can hopefully put a, a probabil probabilistic number on that. So we can say that, say with 90% certainty, that a, a certain change in the frequency or intensity of extremes in an area is, uh, is unlikely to be due to chance and therefore is probably a sign of a climate change or an expression of climate change. So extreme weather events are just a natural part of the weather system. So cold fronts, warm fronts, cyclones, high pressure cells, those are all types of extreme events that uh, are, will happen no matter what the background climate is. The issue though with global warming or any kind of climate change, global warming being the most immediate, is that the characteristics of extreme events are likely to change. The heat waves may become more intense and more frequent, cold waves may change, hurricanes could become more intense or less frequent, uh, and so the issue is that we think that these extreme events, which cause a disproportionate amount of impact for humans and, and the entire ecosystem, uh, are likely to change, and we're trying to figure out the timing of those changes, the changes in intensity, spatial changes across the world, and so on. With extreme events, we want to look back as far as we can in the records, and this is a difficulty with extremes. Unlike average weather, which tends to, to balance out over, say, a period of 30 years, and we have a, a good sense that a 20 or 30 year period is roughly normal conditions, uh, with extreme events it's more difficult because these events are inherently rare and so the one in a hundred year event uh, you basically have a one percent chance of that happening in any given year um, so it's hard to say that uh, if you get two or three within a 50 year period is that outside of the statistical uh, likelihood or is that really a sign of, um, of a change in the climate